Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here with another video. This video is going to cover some more of the uh, simplified follow and assist stuff that maybe wasn't super clear in the overview. So this isn't really going to be a long one because uh, we're kind of skipping forward in it. We're kind of skipping forward, but uh, let's just get right down into it. So I've got four game clients of Final Fantasy XIV running here. And uh, we're pretty much going to go, oh, you know, I, I should say that if you haven't seen, if you didn't want, if you're just jumping into this video thinking this video is going to walk you through from, from zero to hero and you're going to be this pro following a sister in Final Fantasy XIV, that's probably incorrect. Probably. I really uh, can't stress enough that you should watch the overview video first before watching this because I'm going to kind of skip ahead. Did I just say that? I think I just said that. Hmm. So watch that video first. Um, but at the end of that video, I do like a TLDR recap type of section, and there's, there's three parts to that. So the first part is going to be on the final step of the wizard, you're going to, under the, under the game key bindings tab, you're going to be selecting the uh, per character follow and assist macros, the simplified checkbox. Make sure that's checked, and you'll see F11 get used for follow and F12 get used for assist. Now that's by default, that's all standard settings. If, uh, explain in the prior video in the, in the overview that if you're setting things up in an established profile, there may be slightly different key bindings there. Just change them or just follow along to see maybe you can just reuse what's already set there. So not to confuse anyone, but if, if at any point you're ever confused, just start fresh. Just clear your profile, go up to file, clear, clear it all, right? Just clear it all, start fresh. You can back up your current profile with a file, save as, save it as something that you'll remember, right? And then clear your profile and start fresh. That way you'll know you'll exactly, you'll, you'll be exactly on the same clean slate that I am. Anyway, getting into it here. So I've done the wizard. I've set up my character set, obviously. We're already logged in and ready to go. So we're done with part one. I've already selected the, the character, uh, per character target and assist macros. You'll see I have all the modifiers listed here. So shift, alt, control, and control shift. And of course, under variable keystrokes, my uh, follow FTL is F11 and my assist FTL is F12. So just to show that all that's in place, good to go. Next, what's number two? What's number two in the recap? Did you guys even watch the video? It's creating, in the game that you're playing, it's creating the follow and assist macros. Now, of course, if the game you're playing doesn't have a macro system, then you're pretty much SOL. All right, look that up if you don't know what that means. I think it's Spanish for sun. Anyway, follow and assist macros. If I can bring this up here. So, mm, user macros. This is, uh, it's game dependent because every single game has a slightly different context, but pretty much all games have a follow and assist command if they have macros. So what have I done? I've already created these. My four characters, as seen in here, are Johnny Castle, Kieran Lee, Scott Nails, and Xander Corvus, right? So what have I done? I've created a follow Johnny Castle, a follow Kieran Lee, a follow Scott Nails, and a follow Xander Corvus macro. Same thing with assist. Assist Johnny, assist Kieran, assist Scott, and assist Xander. That's what I've already done. It's boring to watch me type this stuff out while I fumble with the keyboard. So uh, I already wrote all this stuff out. So we're, we're done with part two already. Man, we're just flying through this. Just pew, 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 pew. Anyway, what's the third section? This is obviously what's going, the important part here. The third part of that recap is that you will need to put these macros, you will need to give these macros the proper key binding, right? And I, and I talk about what the proper key binding is. And you know what? Let's put them on a hot bar first. Let's put them on a hot bar, hot bar before I start proper key binding anything. So where are the, uh, I'm guessing character and hot bar. I've done this before. Didn't do it today though. So um, here we are. We have a vertical hot bar and that's what we want. We have this state of the art vertical hot bar, which I didn't save. <laughs> Let's go back and do that. Character configuration, hot bar, Vert display and apply. Okay, great. So now here it is on all of my characters. See this hot bar right here? Fantastic. Uh, this is, you know, I'm not worried about UI at the moment. Normally I'll try to like hide it in a corner somewhere. I'm just going to leave it where it is because I don't really care at the moment. So that is what it is. And what do we need to do? We need to take these user macros and we need to just drag them out onto the uh, bar. So with repeater enabled, you can see 
as I mouse over here, you can see the mouse over happening in the lower screens as well. So I'm just clicking, holding, and dragging. Pretty standard operating procedure here, you know, just uh, put this stuff in. And uh, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip a slot just so we can separate them a little bit more. I do, I, I will say that I do like that Final Fantasy XIV has uh, numbered macros like this uh, for the macro image because it kind of makes, it really helps just identify which slot for which character. So, bravo, Square Enix. Um, so they're on the hotbar and they need these proper key bindings, right? So, turn off repeater, come back into the thing, into IS Boxer. And I, I broke this down in the overview video. So again, please watch that video. But if it's confusing, I'll try to explain it again here. So every single character has a follow Johnny Castle macro. Every single character. Now it doesn't matter that it's attached to Johnny. It doesn't even, Johnny can't follow himself. So we're really only worried about the other characters. So when I press, when I press my follow hotkey that I've configured in Iceboxer, when I press my follow hotkey, which is for me, mouse five, my other characters are going to be sent shift with the follow F11, shift F11. So my other characters, not Johnny, but my other characters are going to need a follow Johnny castle macro assigned to shift F11. And of course, any character that isn't Kieran Lee is going to need a follow Kieran Lee macro assigned to Alt F11. This is just for follow. If I was setting up the Kieran Lee assist, the other characters would need Alt F12. Again, if you're confused where I'm getting these F11 and F12s, it's right here under variable keystrokes. Follow FTL, assist FTL. It's just what's already been select selected by the wizard. If, if you wanna set this to something different, try it out, try it out. But I must, uh, uh, recommend that you use just single keystrokes from the keyboard, just single keyboard keys. Don't set this to something like um, Control-Alt, Control-Shift, uh, F5, or so that's not even working right now. So don't set it to this. Don't set this as your, as your key combinations. That's, that's bad. Just use, what am I even on here? I'm on targeting, so this is, <laughs> this is F12. Screwing myself up here. So. Don't set it to something crazy. Just use a single keyboard key, normal keyboard key. Even, you can probably even get away from the numpad because some of the numpad buttons work funny with modifiers. So just set it to a key that you aren't gonna be pressing normally. With that said, I've totally lost my place. What was I talking about? Uh, anyway, the proper key bindings, right. So again, everybody's got a Scott Nails follow macro, control F11. I'm hoping this is making sense. I don't know another way to explain this. I don't, and I'm sorry for that, but let's set this up in game. And what I didn't do is I didn't invite my characters. So this guy actually has to be the leader. Invite to party, invite to party. And what are you doing over there, buddy? Invite to party. Okay, so we're just gonna accept the invites completely out of order here. You and then you, okay. So now, if you understand what the basic system means, if you've ever set up the basic system, you understand that you need to invite in party order, right? So what that means is that normally Johnny would do the inviting and then Kieran would accept, Scott would accept, and Xander would accept. And I'd have a specific party order right here matching the slots in my character set. That's kind of restricting because as I mentioned in the overview video, please watch it. As I mentioned in that video, if your party order changes, that changes the F keys for the basic follow and assist. So if your party order is changing, the F key targeting is changing. If you're getting thrown into a raid, or I believe in this game it's called an alliance, don't quote me on that, I'm sure the F keys are gonna continually change as characters move in and out of the alliance, of the raid, of the whatever it is that you're in, right? So that's why that's a restrictive type of setup. That's why this simplified version is better because no matter what order you are in what party, you're automatically always going to be using a follow character name macro. Both, both systems have their pros and cons, but this one is going to help you if you're playing with more than just yourself. If you're doing raids, if you're doing other uh, 
larger scale activities and, and you need other people to help or you're joining other people's parties. So totally lost the flow here. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's just skip ahead to key binding, right? And you are not key binding. Why not? Xander's too cool. So come to hot bar and uh, what was that? It was vertical bar seven, right? Vertical bar seven. So this, this top one is follow Johnny on everyone, right? So I dragged the macros out. The top button here is follow Johnny. So what was follow Johnny? The follow macro is, the, is tied to F11 with the modifier. And Johnny's modifier is shift. So I click in here, shift F11. That's it. Next is alt, I believe, alt F11. Let me turn off repeater and check that real fast. So it's a, what is it? It's shift, Alt, Control, and Control, Shift. Okay, so I was correct. We'll do here, we'll do Control, F11, and then Control, Shift, F11, right? And those are all applied now. And we skip a slot, so we start here. We do Shift, F12. We do Alt, F12. We do Control, F12, and we do Control, Shift, F12. Hit Apply. I double check everybody's screen to make sure that all these match and they look good. They look good. So, oh, here's something, here's a tip. So in the prior video, I do, I talk about the modifiers. I say that most games don't differentiate between right and left modifiers. And that's absolutely true. Most games don't differentiate between right and left modifiers. But if you want to know, if you want to check whether your game differentiates between right and left modifiers, try to bind, try to bind a uh, right modifier or something. So here, just check it out. If I hold down left shift, you'll see that shift shows up in the key setting there. If I hold down right shift, it still just shows a shift. This is a game that just identifies left shift and right shift as just shift. The only actual game that I know of, personally, and I haven't played them all, is World of Warcraft that allows you to bind specific right and left modifiers to your macros, in your macros. But that's, that's pretty advanced stuff. So most games, you're just gonna be stuck with just the straight up seven left shift uh, modifier combinations. So that's all there is to that. Um, we're set up here, so let's try this bad boy out. So we hit my follow, uh, as uh, key maps are on, hit my follow key, and they all follow me. Fantastic. Now, the typical, the typical test for the follow test is to just switch your, switch your windows, hit the follow button. Do they follow the right character? They seem to be following the right character. So we come over here, hit the follow key. They're all following this guy. I move over to Johnny, hit the follow key. They'll follow Johnny. Looks like follow's working great as per my modifiers and my F11 keys paired up. So everything's correct. Uh, the next test is the assist. So we'll come over here. This is the only NPC I know of in the area to click on. So, oops, we'll click on the person. Oh, great. Everyone's going to want to know how much I sell gill for. <clears throat> anyway, um, as you can see when you click on someone, there's a big old green bar at the top, right? So these other characters along the bottom, they don't have that big green bar yet. But when I hit my assist key, they pick it up. You can now see there's a green bar along the bottom. So the easy way to test this is turn on repeater, clear your target so that there's no confusion, move over to a different character, click on that same NPC, hit assist. They all have a new green bar down there. They're all picking up the NPC as they should be. Turn on repeater, clear your target, turn off repeater, switch slots. Click on the NPC, hit assist. They're all assisting correctly. Clear the targets, turn off repeater, check the final slot. I have a feeling this is going to work, but let's just see. Hit the assist and they assist. And that's it, that's it. If you're still confused after this, then I have to recommend that you come to the forum, you come to the live chat and we'll try to explain it a different way, but um, just wanted to show that this system works in Rift. It works in Final Fantasy XIV. It works in a lot of games. It works in a lot of games. So there's that. And uh, let's go over here, guys. 
I'm going to hang out in this dark alley. But uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I was able to clear some things up with the hot bars and the bindings and whatnot with this sort of live-ish video. So uh, thanks for watching. And for any further questions or comments or concerns, uh, come to the forum or come to the live chat. Thanks for watching, guys.